All right, guys, I figured I would show you my latest acquisition. Um, you can tell by this, it is a CZ70 765 Browning Gunsmith Special. Uh, you know, uh, I enjoyed the uh, CZ50 project so much. Uh, about got it where I want it. They had these on sale for 100 49 dollars as well so i figured i would um pick up one of these as another project to work on um i don't know most people don't realize i like to buy them cheap and find all the missing parts and fix them and get them back work in order and then eventually one day if i feel like it and i think they need it i'll refinish them but um full disclosure uh this is not an unboxing uh had to uh had this shit to my FFL, it's not a, um, well, some of the 70s are CNR eligible. This one did not meet age requirements. Um, <clears throat> so I had to have it shipped to my FFL, and naturally they have to open it and verify serial numbers, and I have to look at it and verify it before I pick it up. But I'll show you in its most similar unboxing form. Um, cardboard box, you know. You're not going to find too many of these with an original box. Uh, it comes with uh, some paperwork about the gun with all the serial numbers on it. You don't care. Not that I worry that anybody's going to get any serial numbers off here. but And then you have the gun itself. Uh, comes with a chamber flag in it, or at least this one did. And here's the 70. Um, and the, the description says they may or may not have chipped grips on them. Usually these are broke off right here. This one seems to have a fully intact set of grips. Uh, and the CZ50 was missing a ton of parts. So, you know, springs and bars and pins. This one has a little bit of corrosion around the edges. Nothing that won't clean up with some oil and steel wool. Looks to be in pretty good shape. Almost kind of bummed on this one because just looking it over at the um, FFL, I can't find anything wrong with it. Grips look intact. Decocker works. Safety works. It has the hammer, it does have the uh, period correct CZ70. I know some of the ones that are the first CZ70 that come out sometimes still have the old CZ50 as the uh, hammer as they were using some of the old parts. Um, this one does have the new updated crossed hatch. The other one just has uh, straight up and down um, grooves in it. This one's cross hatched and it sticks out a little bit further to make it uh, easier to disassemble. And like I said, I can't find anything. Sears in there, sear spring, uh, the hold open. Um, I'm just going to have to give it a really good cleaning. Go through it and verify you know we ain't pop the hood we'll take the grips off and take the side plate off and look into the under the hood so to speak to see but all in all doesn't have any sort of excessive slide wear it does have a little bit of wear on the um internal part of the slide where the uh sear and everything goes but that just probably from being a uh, uh, manipulated a lot uh, the bore it's kind of dirty and dark I don't know if you can see that but I think it'll clean up really nice rifle and what's like it's not been shot a whole whole lot but it's not a by no means a brand new gun And as always, manipulating around the camera. 
CAI Georgia import mark. All right, it is a model year 75, has the CZ logo on the slide, and the little bit longer slide serrations over the 50. Um, all in all, a nice handgun. We're going to clean it up and uh, go take it out to the range and test fire it. Uh, got some uh, cellar and blot ammo. One thing I do like about these is they do not have a magazine disconnect. But it did ship with no magazine. Good thing uh, I had ordered some triple K mags. From them as well not really thinking that they're gonna work that great with this pistol as you know the, the 50 I had some problems with it but I do have a few original CZ 50 mags that seem to work pretty good but I just figured I'd give you an overlook of that next project um, probably not going to do a whole lot to this one besides clean it up i may change the grips because the grip on this while it is very comfortable in the hand with my hand it throws it up really high so my big mitts might get a little bit of slide bite i can always adjust the grip down no problem but thinking it's a very comfortable grip but that bump in there for my grip may be just a little bit too much so I'll probably end up putting more of a uh, wood style grip on it, like off the 50. But figured I'd share that with you. Um, see what you think. I really cannot complain for $149. Like I said, I can't find anything really wrong with this gun. Other than the fact that it's a little dirty and it didn't have a magazine. So on to the next.